Um, <clears throat> the better the student, the more likely it is that I have to make comment 61. Can you get, sometimes get so bogged down in a complicated process that you forget that you can collect light terms. So um, if you're just solving a simple U-rate equation there, you might realize that you can take away one from both sides. And then suddenly you get stuck. Um, well, this is the point, is that um, you can collect like terms there. It should be a five, sorry. And, um, and then you're away. So collecting like terms is a brilliant way to reduce the number of appearances of x. You've got two x's there physically on the page. You don't know which ones to look at. You collect like terms. You've now only got one. Um, like terms are not just in algebra. Um, they can be in um, thirds as well. So 3 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 5 root 3. Um, and you can have all sorts of complicated things. So I've got two of the six characters that represent that bracket. I'm taking away seven of the six characters that represent the same bracket. So two of something, take away seven of something. You've now got five of that thing. Um, another topic where this is often helpful is in the vectors topic. If you haven't learned that yet, don't worry. Um, but sometimes people get freaked out because they have something like negative half u minus um, u plus v in a bracket. And I'm always saying uh, collect like terms. How do we do that? Well, imagine there's a 1 there. Multiply out the bracket. Just copy this part. So negative 1 times u. You can imagine there's 1 there as well. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Imagine there's a 1 there. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. You've got negative half of something. Take away 1 of it. You're down to negative 1 and a half of it. So that's your answer there.